whatever i have said is for the awareness of the people to know that our vedas contained everything and this equation which i have explained is already existing in our vedas which literally has been used by scientist and this existing quantum mechanics now the equation x i is equal to e i this equation is a schrodinger wave equation which was used by him to explain various phenomena there was a conference of great scientists of the world in 1982 1983 round about and they concluded that this equation exists in vedic science h i and e i h is an operator which is named after hamiltonian it is called hamiltonian operator and psi is a wave function and on the other side there is a e e stands for energy operator and psi stands for the wave functions so this equation is in quantum mechanics which explains all minute particles because classical physics failed to explain elementary particles like atoms molecules nuclei all other particles this equation is used to explain the existence of all the particles to explain the universe classical physics is used for macroscopic particles but this is used for microscopic particles even this quantum mechanics can also be used for macroscopic particles and in vedic science this symbol psi is used by lord shiva wherever he is sitting you find that symbol is there so therefore he used this very symbol trishul which exists in our science so therefore if you want to interpret it you can say trishul is a very important for him and wherever he went he used this very trishul and therefore in our physics we are making use of this as a wave function so therefore for all other to know that this science is a great science which explains everything so therefore in vedic science it was written that this equation x i is equal to e i in light of this equation physics offer solutions to all problems i joined art of living basic course in malaysia in march 2008 under the guidance of mrs ambika menon which lasted for about one week after that i joined advanced course in august 2010 in penang an island of malaysia in a span of 8 years i am quite regular in performing all these yogic exercises and pranayam as i have been taught by art of living gurus because in malaysia the advanced course was done in the presence of sri sri ravi shankar ji in a span of 
eight years, I have not, I have missed hardly fifteen days where I have not performed the yogic exercises. So therefore, I am very regular in performing these exercises. These exercises take me about one and a half hour daily in the morning, and later on I go to morning walk for one hour. I therefore recommend or suggest to the people, those who have learned or those who are learning in the art of living such courses, they should not only learn but they should perform the act of yogic exercise as a regular in the morning or you may do in the evening. And I find myself quite fit while performing the Sudarshan Kriya, which is excellent and it has been approved by All India Institute of Medical Sciences that this yogic yogi Kriya is antioxidant. I do not suffer from any disease. I am quite hale and hearty and I therefore say that people should perform such exercises I am still at the age of 80. I am perfectly all right. So therefore I wish everybody, those who are working with the art of living and performing such exercises, they should remain regular and I wish them good luck.